directed by Aldo Lado, number 21 in the Italian collection is Short Night of Glass Dolls, an absolutely bonkers titled movie that is primarily about a journalist who's looking for his girlfriend who suddenly disappeared one night and his investigation into finding it. But it's got a hook. This movie has a wonderful hook that I instantly thought was great, made me sit up and pay even more attention to the movie because what you have is someone discovering a body lying in a garden and it is our hero, our hero's dead body. The protagonist of the movie um, is lying on a morgue table most of the movie, unable to move, unable to do anything, trying to comprehend what has actually happened to himself, trying to make sure that his brain continues to function by trying to remember what brought him to this situation. <laughs> I think it's absolutely brilliant. A corpse telling his own tale is just wonderfully uh, set up. And the story itself is is kind of typical of these movies. You know, you've got a, a, a kind of strange mystery at the heart of it. You've got this relationship with this guy. You're introduced to all these various different characters. Some will become more pertinent to the story. Some will fade away as the story goes on. And we have our main uh, character um, trying to investigate and discover uh, what has happened to his girlfriend. Nobody really seems interested or to care about it whatsoever, but he feels that there is something deeply behind the surface all about this. Something that he needs to get to the bottom to, to figure out. And it keeps cutting back to him, uh, his body, as it's been moved about, as people look at it and think that, you know what, this, this body's not acting like any other corpse. It seems to be um, not going into rigor mortis, seems to be doing other things that don't seem typical and right, and they decide to see if they can revive it. And you're always wondering if this character is actually dead or not, and if he's going to come back to life. But you just get lost in the story that he's telling. You get um, a, a moment of current time as he explains life, uh, as he explains his momentary thoughts and then goes back to him trying to reinvigorate the brain and remember the next part of the story and it's kind of a strange one because you ultimately know where the movie's going to end up but you don't want it to end up there you know you like this main character you like his ideals the way he is relentless within his job the way he has uh, a mystery to solve and he doesn't want to uh, not solve it and he's trying his best to get there. I thought the performances were great. I thought uh, Jean Sorrow was wonderful as Gregory, our main character. You get wonderful uh, other familiar faces all the way through. Barbara Back turns up as well at some point. Uh, just lots of faces that I've seen in very similar movies. And I like the way that this was played extremely straight. It could have had a comedic essence to it. You could have lost the viewer because of the weird way it was telling its tale. But having our uh, protagonist dead at the start and, and telling us the tale of how he got there uh, is, is pretty great. Now, when you think about it, the movie could only end in one direction. And that wasn't something that I wanted but it shows you the, the, the wealth of effort put into the movie because of the performances, because of the story. I enjoyed these characters. I wanted Gregory to solve the mystery, save the day and come out on top. But I know where he's headed throughout the film movie. Yet I still had that hope that he was going to do it. Really surprising, really wonderful. I loved Short Night of Glass Dolls. The, the, the idea behind it, and I, I'm not touching at all on what or why anything goes about because I feel it needs to be discovered. Um, it's kind of typical of the uh, late 60s, early 70s movement in horror movies. Uh, that's enough alluding to it. And it just felt a bit... Uh, at the end, you know, I, I, wanted, I wanted to say about the ending of the movie, the final kind of shot, but ultimately it, it, it was... A defeatist blow to me as the viewer kind of took the wind from me and was just like, oh, I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.